Get your listen. Check it out now. Holy. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, in full transparency, I was trying to have this brother on my podcast off the record. And he actually hit me back because I hit him up and I say, yo, brother Brandon, okay? You know, I wanted to have a good conversation with him on why he decided to pull up on the baby thinking he's going to have a conversation. Instead, he caught a case of the beats. And he actually said, yo, act, man, yo, no disrespect to nothing, but I really don't want to speak on this matter at this time. Now, I took that to be, okay, he's moving on. You know, he don't want to keep lingering, talking about this. He don't want people to look at him like he's cloud chasing Hey, it's all said and done. It's water under the bridge. At the end of the day, he is the brother of the baby's baby mama. He's just going to let it go. Now, I get to find out, man, I was wrong, okay? This dude was not trying to not talk about it because he was trying to let it go. He was going to sue that fool, the baby. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's come out from TMZ that uh, Brandon Bills is filing a lawsuit against the baby for the severe case of the beats, okay? Basically, he wants a lump sum of money for the lumps. He caught at the fist of the baby. Now, he's saying that when the baby suddenly attacked him, he was left with severe and vicious injuries and excruciating pain, okay? He's saying ever since then, he has suffered psychological damage, okay? Also, physical damage and the goddamn, he said he even got disability off of the ass whipping from the baby, okay? He says his medical bills have been mounting and he needs somebody to pay it, which means the baby got to cut a check, okay? Now, here's the thing, right? Uh, he hasn't named a dollar amount, but I can imagine this will be settled out of court, okay? So, officially suing for assault, battery, emotional distress, and negligence. and. Here's my problem with this, because we all know there's a lot of entertainers who they know if you they, they put their hands on like a, a fan or a paparazzi individual, you're going to have to pay a hefty sum. Sometimes it could be from 50000 all the way to be like a million dollars. It could be a lot of money at times. However, my only problem with Brandon Bills is that after he interjected in a situation that had nothing to do with him, I get it was his sister, but his sister chose to lay in bed with the baby, knowing his history. He got other baby mamas, and basically, she should have seen how he treated them. So she should have known she wasn't going to be treated differently. However, she chose to lay down with him. She chose to have a kid with him, and then she chose to try to have some type of quasi-relationship with him. She got embarrassed because he put everything up, up on social media, and he kicked her out of the crib and called her a side chick. Now, he felt that, and I'm talking about Brandon Bills, he felt he got to defend her sis his sister's honor. So he's trying to pull up for the fair one. And by the way, he was on TMZ. And this is why I have a problem with this whole thing. He was on TMZ saying, yo, he can't wait to run into the baby. It's on site. He want to have a boxing match with the baby. And basically said the baby wasn't a man. And he called him pussy. Okay. Now, here's the thing. If you said all these things in the past, I'm going to take that as a threat. So when I see you the next time and you want to have some type of private conversation at a public event that I'm doing an appearance at, yeah, I'm going to assume either I need to defend myself immediately or remove myself immediately. Okay, now a lot of people could say, well, the baby didn't need to punch him in his mouth. Granted, you are right, but we have to be still sane. The guy approached the baby after basically telling him he wanted to fight. Now, we got to get off this whole thing about fair ones, okay? If y'all want a fair one, go sign up for Triller Boxing, okay? Go go in the octagon or something like that with Dana White and the UFC in them. Don't go to a goddamn street fight thinking they're catching a fair one or go to a bowling alley at somebody's event think you about to have a one-on-one. -on -one. So here's the, my problem. Dog, you got your ass beat. But it's not like the dude just terrorized you. You were talking smack before. You were asking and encouraging a fight before. And you basically baited him into giving you a beatdown that you're now suing for. This is the reason why, again, as much as y'all want to get at celebrities for, quote, unquote, not doing nothing at times or, yo, you should handle it yourself. Man, this is the reason why a lot of celebrities don't do anything. Let your mans of them beat them up. You know why? They can't sue your mans of them. Your man's in them don't got no money. 
You got the bread. Now, here's the thing. It's a catch-22. It's a lose-lose for the baby. The baby didn't punch him in his mouth, and the baby let his people around him handle the dirty work. Y'all, you know what y'all would have said? Yo, the baby, you pussy. You don't even throw a punch. Now, again, if you ain't throw a punch, who you going to sue? The baby ain't do nothing to you. But now the baby got to throw a punch because you internet people is going to call it pussy if he don't. And now he throws a punch. Now he's being sued. You can't goddamn win. Okay. Unfortunately, the only way to win these situations is to avoid it altogether. But this is a setup. It's like bait car. You can't ask to fight a celebrity or tell him it's on site and then get beat down and then go to sue. There is no rules to it. And that's why I don't like this at all, okay? Danny Lay should be ashamed, Brandon Bill should be ashamed, and I hope the baby, he probably got like a little, he probably got some rainy day funds for the beatdowns he'd be giving out, the strategic beats, but I think he should probably learn from here on out that these people, even if they talk all that stuff online, they're still going to look for a check. As bad as things, remember Cam Cohart, he never filed a lawsuit. He talked a lot of smack, but he never filed a lawsuit. Hmm. I think, I think, I think. Did he? I don't know. Anyway, get the comments. Make sure you guys like them, subscribe. What you think about this whole thing? Danny Lay brother wants to sue the baby for the severe case of the beats and the tragic case of the lumps. Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like them, subscribe. It's more academics. Boop.